Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use some custom code to create an expandable section on a page in your Squarespace website. Sometimes these are referred to as FAQ accordion style sections because a lot of people use them for questions that you click on to then see the answer. So we're gonna break down that code and I'll show you how to add this to your Squarespace website today. So before we dive in, I'd like to introduce myself right quick. My name's Becca Harpane. I'm a Squarespace designer, a Squarespace Circle member, a self-professed CSS super nerd, and the founder of InsideTheSquare.co, a resource on all things CSS used by Squarespacers around the world. Now, I say this word a lot, so I need to get this out of the way first. The term Squarespace is a trademark of Squarespace Incorporated. This content is not affiliated with Squarespace Incorporated. I don't work for them. They don't pay me to do this. I just love designing sites in Squarespace and I love to teach others how to do it too. So for this tutorial, we're gonna go over some really interesting codes. So I went ahead and wrote them all down for you so you don't have to worry about taking notes. To download the custom code cheat sheet that goes along with this video, head on over to insidethesquare.co slash expand. There are two different code options we're gonna look at today, so you'll definitely wanna get a copy of that. And if I didn't say it out loud already, it is free. So head on over to insidethesquare.co slash expand to download the cheat sheet that goes with this tutorial. So the two elements of your Squarespace website we'll be using today are different than what we normally use. We're going to use an on-page code block, and we're also going to use a markdown block. So these are two very different things, and I'm gonna go ahead and hop into my demo site so I can show you how to set this up. So here in my demo site, I'm going to be editing some on-page content. Right here, I'm using a Squarespace 7 website, but I have double-checked before recording this video, and this also works for Squarespace 7.1. So whichever version you're using, you should be able to follow along just fine. So using the first code that's there in our cheat sheet, we're actually going to add what's known as an on-page code block. To do this, I'm going to highlight over my content until I see the little droplet there. I'll click on that, and I'm just gonna type in the word code to make that search easier on me. This symbol right here with the two caret marks and the slash between them, that's the symbol for code block. So I'll click on that and we'll keep going. I'm gonna move this to the center of my page so you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to remove this filler text that they have, and I'm going to paste this element of JavaScript into the code block. Now you'll see something pretty important right here that just popped up. Squarespace will only support JavaScript in the business plans. So if you have a business plan or I believe a commerce plan as well should work, this will work for you just fine. So we've pasted the whole code in here and I'll go ahead and select apply. Now you'll see all we're seeing are these random errors that says disabled preview and safe mode. It's all okay. Those are supposed to be there and it's gonna look great when we're done. The next part that we need to add is the markdown block, and this is where the content is going to go. So I'm gonna highlight over our little droplet. I'm gonna type in the word markdown. Don't even have to finish the word, and it's right there. Now this is a different type of code that we're going to add. I'm going to copy and paste the first code from the cheat sheet, and you'll see here, I have my questions and answers. So these answers will be hidden unless someone clicks on the question above them. Now it's very important that you have these pound symbols in the front. Using a markdown block, this is going to denote that this is a H3 tag and that'll work with the script. Now, if I'm already saying stuff that's going way over your head, don't worry. You can copy and paste right out of the cheat sheet and the only parts you need to update will be this part right here where you add your own question and this part right here where you add the answer, okay? So again, don't worry about the other things. Just change this to match your question and this to match your answer or whatever text you'd like to display when someone clicks on this part right here. Alrighty, I'll go ahead and select apply and we'll select save and we'll be able to see what this website does when I expand it. Now here we can see all of the questions listed out and if I click on one, the answer will appear at the bottom. Pretty awesome, right? Now it gets even cooler. If we go back to editing the on-page content, you can add more than just text in those markdown blocks. You can add things like images if you'd like, or even horizontal lines. You just need to add them to the markdown code right here using some HTML. If I type in the left caret and the text HR, I can put a line in between each one of my items. 
I can also use some code to center this text if I don't want it to be aligned to the left. To do that, I'll just add the caret and the text center, and then starting a new line, you'll see here that all of the text is centered. All of my questions are going to be lined up in the middle, questions and answers, I should say. So if I add this horizontal line right here to this question, I'd like to show you this example too. I'll select apply and select save. And now when we look at our accordion style expandable FAQ, you'll see that horizontal line is even gone. But if I click here, it'll separate the end of that answer from the question beneath it. Alrighty, well that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. And if you wanna learn more about the awesome things you can do with Squarespace, be sure to subscribe. I post a new tutorial every week. Oh, and don't forget, um, head on over to insidethesquare.co slash expand to grab that free cheat sheet with all the codes that we covered today. All right, thanks again for watching and have fun with your Squarespace website.